Hey everyone, today we're getting started with VeraCrypt within Windows. Now I did cover a video within how to do it on Linux Mint. I just want to make sure that we're including everyone here because I know some people are still stuck on Windows, whether it's for games, whether it's for work, whatever it may be. Now, fortunately, VeraCrypt on Windows is a lot more easier to install and get started with. And then from there, it's as easy as just mounting your drives and going off. So we'll get started here and head over to Microsoft Edge. Now, once again, we'll head over to veracrypt.fr. <clears throat> head over to Downloads. And instead of using the generic installer for Linux right here, we're going to go to the EXE installer, or you can also use the MSI. We'll install the EXE. Click on it and hit OK. Minimize this. I accept the terms. We'll install. If you do have any compatibility issues, you can try and uh, click this to disable memory protection. However, we shouldn't have any issues in this instance, so we're just going to leave this unchecked. We'll hit install. OK. And now that it has been installed, we'll finish up. And do not view the tutorial and open up VeraCrypt. Now, here's the fun part. As I had shown you guys in the Linux Mint video, we can also mount over that flash drive, which is actually still mounted in the search machine, or should be. We'll go to drive A, select device. You can see hard disk two, 16 gigs, okay. Mount it, super secure password, okay. And see, just like that, we can now use that drive. Now, unfortunately, it is formatted as ext4. Um, I didn't <laughs> necessarily think about that. We can access it, we just have to install some extra goodies, but we can access that same flash drive essentially on a different computer and move those files over within an encrypted environment still. So we'll go ahead, dismount all of them, create a new volume in Windows and encrypt a file container. Standard VeraCrypt volume. And we'll select file, go back to our desktop, beans.vc, save. Next, you are, where is, where is it? Ser Kunziuk, Serpent Camellia, SHA-512, and 2048. Password, super secure password, super secure password. It should be the same, just like that. And for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and use key files too while we're at it. And if we go add files, create a test file, my key, save that, desktop, use that, and OK. Next, we recommend you can choose the password. Yes, we are sure we want to use a short password, whatever. Click that randomness. And format. OK. The volume has successfully been created. And we'll hit OK. Exit out of this. OK, now let's mount our new file. We'll go select file, desktop, beans.bc, and mount it. Super secure password. And just to demonstrate to you, we have just the password here. I know we created key file, but I'll show you guys here in a sec. If we hit OK, it'll try to decrypt it, and it should have issues. And there we go. Operation failed due to one more of the following, incorrect password, not a valid volume, whatever. This is because we did not have the key file added as the pa or with the password when we decrypted the sys or the volume. I cannot speak, jeez. So we'll hit OK, do super secure password, just like that, and check use key files. Now if we go add files, desktop, my key, and OK, and OK again, and it should have no issues this time, just like that. So now if we go to explore, we can go to this PC, 
as you can see, we can start using that file or that drive technically, just like that with no issues as long as we have the correct key and the correct password. So we'll go ahead and now dismount it. Now, if we want to create an encrypted volume or hard hardware volume, I should say, we'll go ahead and select encrypted non-system partition slash drive this time. Hit next, standard VeraCrypt volume and select device. We'll use that 16 gig drive from earlier. Encrypt entire device. Next, encrypted volume and format it. Use the same algorithm. Next, it is 16 gigs big, so we'll just leave it at that. And super secure password. Super secure. Make sure the one is the same. Use that same key once again. Desktop. My key. Okay. And next. Are you sure? Yep. You intend to store large files more than four gigs. Not at this time, so I'll keep that as now. And just to make sure as well, we're going to actually set this as NTFS. And then once we have our randomness collected, format. Yep. Now give it one moment here. It'll take a little bit of time because it's a bigger drive, but it should be done here shortly. Okay. Now the volume has been successfully created. We'll hit OK and exit out. Now, as you saw earlier, we unlocked the volume, uh, the 16 gig volume specifically, all with just the password. Now that we've added a key file, it should fail once again. So select device, 16 gig hard disk and mount. Super secure password. And just like that, it fails. Thus, showing that one, we've overwrote all the partitions and encryption we did previously, and two, that everything should be secure now that we've updated it. So, once again, super secure password, key files, add files, desktop, my key, okay. And just to make sure, okay. Should take a lot less time to actually mount the drive now. Just like that. So now we can go in back and explore this PC and see right there, there is our 16 gig drive. Now, I do want to warn you guys once again, if that key file is modified, you will lose access to your drive. And just to prove that to you, we have the drive right here and we use the key file to unlock it. We dismount it, copy, paste we're just going to add one right in front of it select that same hard disk mount and key files add files desktop and my key use the same password super secure password and okay and just like that, it fails. Despite being the same file, we added just that one. Now we can't get back into our drive. So once I, again, just emphasizing this before you guys make any new partitions, drives, whatever. If you use a key file, if you're using a password, keep it down, keep it backed up, keep it written, keep it somewhere safe. God forbid anything does happen. You have a backup and you can still access whatever secured uh, documents may be on that drive. So... If you guys do have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Subscribe. I I don't know. Uh, peace. I'm out. <laughs>